Hello, Pisces. This is Barb with Mystic Door Tarot, and thank you so much for joining me. This is your weekly tarot card reading for November 27th through December 3rd, 2023. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And for my subscribers, welcome back. Now keep in mind, Pisces, these are very general readings, so it certainly will not resonate with everyone. And if that's the case, consider checking out your rising or your moon sign readings. So Pisces, take what resonates and leave the rest. Let's see what your cards are revealing for the week ahead. It's coming through for Pisces. Messages, guidance for Pisces. All right. First card. The Seven of Swords. What other messages for Pisces? The Six of Wands. Messages and guidance for Pisces. The Two of Pentacles. What else for Pisces? The Two of Wands. Wow. Bottom of the deck. Your overall energy is the major arcana card, Temperance. So uh, definitely something new coming in uh, that uh, you're integrating into your life. Let's take a look at which crystal is going to help you out this week. Okay, which crystal is coming through for Pisces? Unikite, to live in the present, your heart chakra. Okay, and also we're going to see which spirit animal is turning up for you, as there's always a message behind that particular animal. Something you need to hear. Oh, this flew out. Vulture spirit. Nothing is wasted. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to start off here with um, your major arcana card, Temperance. This is kind of in the background this week. This is um, the energy that's kind of in the background. Some of you are feeling it intensely, others not so much. This is trial and error. This is something new coming in where there's some sacrifices being made. It's an energy of... Um, a good example would be maybe like a new relationship. You're meeting someone new, and so you're getting to know each other. So uh, finding out what works, what doesn't work. So there is something uh, new that you're integrating into your life, your lifestyle. Again, this could be maybe a new job for some Pisces individuals or a new way of doing things, maybe something in regards to your lifestyle. Um, what um, what kind of, you know, something to do with your diet or exercise, you know, your health. Um, just um, really um, trying something out is what my guides are saying. Now, bottom of the deck here is things that have not yet um, come to pass yet. Uh, Seven of Pentacles is a time of reassessment. So that kind of makes sense if you got something new that's coming in. So a little bit later down the road, you're going to be doing some reassessment. And we do have the lover's card. Wow. So it could definitely be in regards to relationships for some Pisces. And then if I keep going, wow, the two of cups, that is definitely like a love match. So maybe if you're single Pisces, you're um, dating and, you know, trying to see who fits. You know, who are you compatible with? That's that's kind of what I'm getting um, out of this. So definitely um, trying something on, see if it works, trying different things. Um, could be a project that you're working on. It's um, the 14 energy reduces down to five. So there's kind of a bit of a challenge at the beginning of this as you get going. But your crystal card is saying, you know, pretty much live in the present, follow your heart, do what your heart says. So let's look at your anchor card here. You have the seven of swords. Uh, if it's in regards to relationships, maybe the first person that you're um, trying on to see if they fit is not meant for you. Seven of swords is kind of like something uh, going on in the background. 
Somebody's not being totally upfront and honest with you. But this could also be your energy, Pisces, where you're kind of making some strategic plans. You're getting things ready. You're being proactive is what the Seven of Swords could also mean. You know, the Seven energy is kind of a challenging energy because it's in regards to um, things happening around you that you have no control over. So you might be trying to um, be proactive this week in regards to something that you think might happen or trying to prevent something from happening. And with this, it's something new might be coming in and you're kind of taking all the steps you can being proactive, you know, kind of like um, foreseeing what you might need. So something of that nature. Now you do have the Six of Wands. This is um, a, a very successful energy. Look at all the wands. Just all perfect. So something is definitely um, going your way this week. And the reason you've got the Unikai Crystal, it's, you know, live in the present. Enjoy it. Don't just take like this victory and then move on to the next thing. Enjoy your success this week. There's something new coming in, whether it's a new relationship that you're going to really hit it off with someone or possibly a promotion at work, something going on at work for some of you, maybe some kind of recognition for an achievement, um, something of that sort. Enjoy. Six of Wands is kind of like a role model type of energy where, um, you know, just enjoy, you know, the energy that you're experiencing this week. Now, the Two of Pentacles um, can be that you've been handling quite a bit. This particular um, Two of Pentacles, um, you can see the foot there ready to grab a one of the two pentacles. So sometimes the two of pentacles can be in regards to follow the money. So definitely this could be something, um, something, you know, kind of like you're working behind the scenes. You're being proactive. Some of you might be looking for a new job. You're going to be successful. You're going to get some kind of a job where, um, you know, you're in charge of a group of people, people, um, maybe you're going to train them and inspire them. You're going to be a role model for them. The two of pentacles um, certainly can be in regards to going after what it is you're looking for. And with it being pentacles, again, we're talking about integrating something new into your life. Pentacles can be health as well. So you might be adapting a more healthy uh, lifestyle, or it could be um, managing your money and finances better, maybe getting a new job or a second source of income. Now you do have the two of wands and you have a couple twos here. So two of wands is like kind of like standing at the crossroads and going, hmm, which way do I want to go? What do I want to do? You wouldn't have to ponder this if there was only one choice. So for some of you, if you're looking for a new source of income, or I should say a second source of income, you might have a couple options. The same if you're looking for a completely new career, a new company to work for. You might have a couple places that you can turn to. So you're kind of standing at, um, this is very much um, an energy of being uh, proactive. And I saw that with the Seven of Swords. You're being proactive in regards to something new that is hitting uh, this week. Now, what's really interesting with the Vulture Spirit message, nothing is wasted. Um, this could be something uh, possibly unfortunate happening to you this week, but with the Vulture card here, uh, there's a purpose behind it. Um, you're going to have choice to go off in a new direction. And you do have the Unikai Crystal saying, live in the present. So possibly um, you know, something that it has come to a close. Maybe it's a relationship or... Um, a job that you have. Very transformational energy here. Like good um, blessings in disguise. That's the phrase that I was looking for. Blessings in disguise is what the vulture spirit is. Nothing is ever wasted. And definitely um, 
you know, this could be the ultimate meaning of this card. You know, somebody sneaking uh, behind your back and taking off, maybe, um, you know, taking off with uh, some of your money as well. This could be business partnership, you know, where the partner just takes off and leaves. So it could be something that you're finding out that was done behind your back. But I see you really, you know, this is blessings in disguise from this energy. You go right into this new energy of being successful, stepping into a new role. And you have the temperance card, which is all about, you know, um, bringing something new into your life, integrating something new. So very much see, um, you know, something uh, coming in, maybe, uh, something ending, but then something coming in. And you're going to have more than one option, but you're not going to be able to see that right at the beginning. So again, vulture spirit, nothing is wasted. So let's take a look at, um, let's clarify these cards. Let's see if we can get some more information. The seven of swords. All right. Oh, yeah. You got to have strength, persevere, you know, Dig deep down for those um, resources. Be proactive. Get a strategic plan together. Six of Wands here. You're going to have a decision to make. You're not going to have much time to think about it. You know, Two of Swords can really be sitting on the fence where you want more information, and I don't feel you're going to get it. So, you know, whatever this opportunity coming in, um, you're going to have to just grab it. Two of Pentacles, Hierophant, mm, maybe changing your point of view, going to the next level. Yes, yes, my guys are saying going to the next level. So reaching for the sky, reaching for more money and opportunity. This is certainly a card of success, triumph, and getting into some kind of leadership position, being in charge of others. A little bit of difficulty here. But um, I do feel that, you know, again, blessings in disguise is what I'm picking up. Let's see with the two of wands, because uh, you've got choice here. And we have the king of wands. Maybe you have two offers. This is a Leo individual, a fire sign. Maybe it's a counter offer. Maybe you're at one job. Something's happening. You know, behind the scenes, you're not happy about it, Virgo, um, Pisces, I'm sorry. Um, I'm thinking work-related, that's Virgo, career. You're not happy. Something with, Somebody might have been doing something behind the scenes. You're ready to get up and go and leave. There might be someone that tries to, um, you're going to get a different job. Somebody somebody makes a counter offer is what I'm picking up. So. Uh, that's where the Two of Swords comes in. You've got um, the, you know, and the Two of Wands. There's a couple, couple things on the table for you here, Pisces. Wow. Okay. Let's take a look at your final message here. Oh, and it just flew out. Friends, the most unlikely friendships can form like variegated lichens on a hard rock. They create a tight bond. Well, whatever you go with here, and you certainly, um, you know, you certainly have a couple options here. You know, you're going to be successful. It's going to start out as something um, unfortunate, but it's going to be blessings in disguise. You're not, you're not going to have one, two. You might have a couple or several options, but I definitely see you going to the next level, like a higher position a higher um, a higher level depending on how this resonates with you and it might be due to whoever is represented as the king of wands all right pisces thank you so much for joining me today Please be sure to subscribe, like the video, drop a comment. It all helps the channel grow. Visit my website to continue with a private reading, but love and abundance to my Pisces family.